Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And this is the limited edition one. This is the one with the diamonds on it, if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can turn my light down. So this is the limited edition. This one's with all the diamonds on it. To be honest, I wanted to try this for a long time. There we go. So I wanted to try this for a long time. I fell in love with the packaging and... I will say that the packaging is awesome. Even the regular packaging without the diamonds is pretty cool, nice. It's pretty. I like the color. Um, the wand is nice. I like the shape of the wand. So it's kind of like a weird like cone shape. I don't even know like how to like really explain that. But that's what the wand looks like. So this part right here is really heavy. Like the wand right here is really heavy. And then the rest of the tube is really light. Which I find that interesting. I don't know why this part would be so heavy. Considering you do have to use it to apply mascara. So this is going to be a review on my eyes. And it's going to be what I think. So my personal opinion is I don't hate this product. But I don't really like it. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So first I'm going to read to you what they say online about it. Like what the website says. And keep in mind, this is like a $24, this is $24, so this is a lot of money to spend on mascara. And if you don't end up liking it, it's kind of a bust. So, it says, better than sex, mascara. Number one selling prestige mascara. It says it's number one selling. You know, a lot of people like this. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but, you know, it just doesn't work for me. So, it is what it is. I don't hate Too Faced. I actually love a lot of their products. So it actually says, a mascara so amazing it's better than sex. It's not better than sex. So let me just put that out there right now. Uh, my sex life's pretty damn good. It's better than this mascara, that's for sure. Um, this formula thickens, lengthens, and curls after just one coat for the most lux luxurious, dramatic, and volumized lashes possible. The number one selling prestige mascara in America, better than sex, gives you mind-blowing lashes every time. That's what Too Faced has to say, and I'll tell you why I don't agree with that after I show you how it applies on me. Hey, maybe I got like a bad formula. That could be it. So if you guys think I may have gotten a bad formula and you think I should maybe go get another tube and try it out again, uh, I'm kind of scared to do that. So um, Too Faced, if you're watching this, maybe I got a bad tube because I didn't really like this very much. So it says details, the number one selling prestige mascara in America, film film forming polymer locks curl into place, a Keda signal tree extract sets volume, unique peptides condition lashes, it's cruelty free and vegan. Okay, so that's what it says for that. So that's pretty much what it says online. It's $24. And this is beautiful packaging. They always do like a great job on the packaging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes and apply this to my lashes. So I'm probably going to zoom you guys in. Let me see if I can do that so without dropping everything. There we go. I think that's good enough. So I'm going to curl my lashes here really quick. And I already have a uh, mascara on. And I just want to say that I tried this out about five times. And I actually wore it for a whole day until late at night. Um, the good thing about this is that it does not clump. It does not flake. That's a huge thing. That's so awesome. But for me, it did not hold my curl. It did not like lengthen my lashes. And it did not make them, it did not make them thick by by any means and I'm someone that does not like to go up on mascara I like my lashes to look natural so I'm not gonna sit there and just keep putting it on till my eyelashes look like I have spider webs on them like giant ones or spider legs uh, I don't like that so I just curled my lashes and now I'm gonna put the first coat on this eye and I'll show you why it I don't think it works for me
So that's what it looks like. What well, one coat? And as you can see, my lashes are already starting to kind of like fall. I'll do this side. I have to admit, I do like the wand a lot. And it applies easily. Also, the formula is not thick. It's not too thin. It's just right. I also like that about it. the bottom on this side and I will say that it keeps the lashes spread apart so that's a plus too so here's the finished product like I don't think it makes them look any different than what they were they have a little bit darker maybe a little bit longer but not much so the reason why I don't like this is just because like it doesn't do enough for me personally it's not a bad product. I like a lot of things about this, but would I go and repurchase it again? Probably not, just because it doesn't do what I necessarily want it to do. When I think of a mascara that costs this much money, I want my eyelashes to be like long as hell. Like I want those shits to stand out. I don't want them to be like basic like this. Like if I go all the way back here, you can't even tell. Let me like zoom you guys out. So you're zoomed out now. You can barely even tell I have mascara on. Like. I don't like that, but when I zoom you guys in, in, you guys can tell I have it on. Like, I don't know. I want my eyelashes to stand out. You know, I don't like how it doesn't really stand out that much. Um, also, my lashes don't fall out a lot with this, which is a good thing as well. So my opinion is it, it's not the best for me. Do I recommend it? I guess so. I don't really know. I don't want to not recommend it because there is some good things about this. This might be great for you. Maybe you're not picky with mascara. I'm very picky with mascara. Um, so I don't hate this. It's okay. It's not the best thing. Um, I have tried drugstore mascaras that work way better for me than this. And I know I'm not doing anything wrong because it's not hard to apply mascara. All you do is just curl your lashes and brush them out. And then you put the mascara on. I don't like doing multiple layers like I don't want this to dry and then go in again with it I want it to be one and done um, so I don't know maybe I just this just isn't for me um, I don't really see what's so great about it other than those few things that I just mentioned the packaging's cute it doesn't flake it doesn't crumble it lasts a long time but it doesn't hold the curl which is very important to me I like my lashes to stay curled throughout the day um, and it also doesn't lengthen them or make them thicker I just feel like this is basic. So that's my opinion. If you guys don't agree with that, that's fine. I'm just putting this out there just because this is what I think. And I just don't think it works for me. That doesn't mean it won't work for you. So if you want to try this, go right ahead. I mean, it's not like you can't take it back. You can. I think you can get your money back. I'm not sure. But I got this as a Christmas gift. And I don't want to go all the way back to the store and be like, yeah, I don't like this. So I'm probably just going to give this to my mom. She'll finish it off. But I am going to keep the tube because the tube is just too pretty to just throw away. Like it's just, I can put it out in my vanity and it would match my mirror. Funny thing is it actually matches my mirror. So that's cute. But anyway, I will have this link down below. Even though I'm not a fan of it, I'm still going to link it because I know you guys might like it. Um, this isn't like a horrible review. It's just not for me. I don't hate Too Faced. I actually love their makeup. So if you're watching this Too Faced, please don't take this personal. I love your makeup, but this just wasn't for me. Maybe I got a bad uh, mascara, but um, I don't think so because it's not clumpy. It looks pretty normal to me. So, I don't know. But this is a flop for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if maybe you think I got a bad tube or something's just not right with this mascara. Because I really, really wanted to like this, especially for the price point. And actually right now, I've noticed that when I wore this, my eyes start to burn. So I could be allergic to this formula. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you Like I said, please give this video a thumbs up. And please check my description box for links and other stuff. And I will see you in my next video.